hundred percent when you don't need to wake up the next morning. You know what I mean? Right. Let me tell you something. Having a binge premiere and then waking up to do press the next morning. Oh, you know, it's like, all right, here we go. Today, I am here with Mr. Dexter Darden, uh, star of of the binge franchise at this point. I guess so. You know what? That's the first time I ever really heard it like that. And I'm going I'm to go ahead and receive it. Yes. The binge the, yes. I was speaking that yeah. into existence. That's yes, sir. real. Uh, uh, the binge two. It's a wonderful binge uh, coming to Hulu on uh, de- uh, Friday, 9th. December the 9th. Yes, sir. Good for you. You know what? On it. I never get the times right, Dexter. I, I swear that. to you, I'm always getting them wrong. I happen to be corrected. This is the first time I've ever gotten it right. <laughs> okay, so okay. tell me, okay, wait. I have seen The Binge too, and I loved it. Good. But for anybody who hasn't seen it, give us a little uh, synopsis and, and kind of how it connects to, to the first movie from a couple years ago. Okay, so in the first movie, the government has decided in 2032 to ban all drugs and alcohol or any illegal substances, make them completely illegal for 364 days of the year, except for there's one day when you can do everything completely legally. And so in the first movie, you kind of meet my character, Hags, who's 18 years old and really wants to binge with his two best friends, and and he's going through this journey. So now... In the second movie, it, as though it, it, it can completely stand alone um, because the journey follows us a bit late, uh, like maybe five years later. Okay. Um, but uh, in the second movie, uh, my character is now trying to propose to the mm-hmm. girl in the first movie. And my best friend, Eduardo, is trying to fix some things at home with his family. Um, and he plays Andrew. And, and it's really a beautiful moment just to kind of sit down. And to have a Christmas comedy because the binge is happening on Christmas Eve in this film. And just know well, on Christmas Day, there's always drinks and fun libations flowing. But if, on binge Christmas Day, it gets a bit crazy. So it, it feels appropriate because yeah. if you're going to have the binge, what better time than the holidays? That's when you need it. 100% when you don't need to wake up the next morning. You know what I mean? Right. Let me tell you something. Having a binge premiere and then waking up to do press the next morning. Oh. You know, it's like, all right, here we go. So I can- <laughs> We're just yeah. going to make this work. No, um, no, no. It's great because I get to talk to people like you. So it's Oh, awesome. you're too kind. Yeah. So so not to get look, look this, this is going to connect. I promise. Sure. Not to too personal, but okay. your character in the movie Yes. Seeking to get engaged. Yes. You in real life recently yes. got engaged or got engaged. So was it was it one of those things where they brought the script to you and you were like, oh, funnily enough, or did it happen like the other way around? So it was that it was like one of those kind of art imitating life kind of things. Like I read the script and I was like, oh, OK, that's funny. And then I was like, oh, that's funny. Um, and ironically <laughs> enough, our DP on the film, Andrew, um, who also has, he was also the director of photography for House Party, the new House Party that's coming out. Oh, yeah, he was yeah. simultaneously getting engaged and planning that whole oh, wow. thing as well. Yeah. So it was crazy. It was crazy. It was crazy. We actually shot a month after I got engaged. Oh, okay. So, I was wondering about yeah, that. Yeah. A month after we, we got engaged. Yeah. So it was like, you know, it was still very fresh and new. Yeah. Like, she was coming out and visiting and it was nice to show off the ring and do the thing. <laughs> it feels like, like were you able to kind of bring some of that energy to the role to that? Do you feel like that helped make yeah. it simpler? Yeah, of course. You know, like when I, I, I don't know if everybody's experience is like this, but I have never been engaged before, you know? So <laughs> sure. like, so this is my first time, first of all, you know what I mean? So, um, so for me, it was one of those things where it, it was, I was able to provide how unique that experience was for me. Mm -hmm. So um, when that scene happens at the end and I'm standing there in front of her family and like thinking about having that opportunity to do that and what that can mean for somebody, you know, I wanted to kind of humanize that experience because it happens a lot around the holidays, you know, people get Christmas and get engaged on Christmas. And so, you know, I wanted to just try to make it as real as I possibly could for the audience and having a scene partner like Zane in that moment um, was just really cool. That's awesome, man. Uh, uh, so this time around, the movie is directed by Jordan Van Dina. Did I? Did I yeah, 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 yeah. The Van Dina, who the wrote the first one and wrote this one. Yeah. Is it helpful to have the person who wrote the script there to work with you in scenes? Yeah, I mean, Jordan is the bench, right? There is okay. no bench without Jordan. There is no Jordan without the bench. You know, in the sense okay. of all, well, no, that's not that's actually not. I true. see what you're saying. 
Jordan's doing amazing, amazing things. But like, this was his idea. He brought this to Jeremy Gerlich in American High. He like created this world, this universe, so we say, right, that we're living in. So he was on set for Binge One. Okay. Which was super helpful, you know, because when you have a comedic mind like that, who is just as intelligent as he is, as kind, as generous with his ideas, it really makes it a lot easier. And so for Binge 2, having him direct, it was really great because, you know, I was expecting him to be super, super, super hands on because he is the creative and he has the pen. But um, similarly, how it was in Binge 1, he gave us our space to create. You know, he did exactly what Jeremy did to have our rooms to improvise and and to laugh and to humanize our experiences on camera so that the audience can relate. And, you know, when me and Eduardo get together or me and Zane, you know, like Eduardo's one of my best friends in real life now. You know, like the bond we built from Binge 1 is truly just stood the test of time. So when we have the chance to step on screen together and start riffing and doing jokes and stuff, it like, it feels natural. And Jordan kind of gave us that space to do so. And he's just such a creative genius. I mean, to take something, a concept like this mm-hmm. and and make it in a world where it stands alone. It's first. And now the second can stand alone on its own. Hopefully there's a third and fourth so that they all can stand alone and we all can keep watching it and talk about it in the back. Absolutely. I'm looking at my guy Tarantino and I'm like, man, what a collection he's got back there. Oh, you know yeah. I mean? see that. So I, yeah, the, I got the, my wife. She's awesome. She got me these as a gift. Oh, uh, beautiful. Uh, and and there's a couple more that I really you know I really want to get I want to get in glorious bastards on but yeah, yeah those are sick though <laughs> um um okay there's a scene in the movie we we don't want to do too many spoilers but be you know not spoiling too much there's a great scene where you are right between uh, uh Patty Guggenheim and mm. Tony Cavalier oh my yeah. god and and, <laughs> and their back and forth is just. It's incredible. So were they genuinely like riffing and just improvising? Oh, 100%. Oh, my God. So that's what Jordan does, right? So Jordan just hires his friends who he feels like are very funny and then just lets them go. And and like, and fortunately, everybody loves Jordan. So then we get all of these incredibly talented actors to come out and step out and do the thing. And so working with Patty and Tony in general, you know, the, they're improv legends in this community, you know, came up from the ground up in the groundling circuit and did the thing. So like when they are standing there um, delivering their dialogue and having their moment and having their chemistry, like for me, it's just keeping yeah. these ears open so that I don't miss a beat, you know, cause you never yeah. know what Patty's going to say or what Tony's going to say. And um that's what makes it so fun. And that's what made this movie so brilliant for me. Like having the opportunity to keep working with these creative minds like Tim Meadows and, and, you know, and and the list just goes Nick Swartz and then the list just goes on and on and on and on. So um, I I was just super, I, I was just super fortunate to be able to work with them and learn from them and play with them in the sense of having a lot of fun. That's cool. Well, being that it's a Christmas movie, uh, let me ask you this. What what kind of like holiday traditions do you is there anything specific you look forward to every year or yeah. anything that you're yeah? Yeah. So I mean, you know, Easter is usually a big my mom was one of nine, so that was my grandmom's holiday. My grandma lived in Atlanta. But uh for Christmas, you know, we always get together. We go to like my godbrother's house and on Christmas Eve. We've been doing this since I was like three years old, you know, going there, opening presents on Christmas Eve and then opening presents at my house on Christmas Day. And so now we're getting older, the new generation is passing in, you know, like so our moms are having the opportunity to kind of sit back a little bit while we get in the kitchen and start creating and start getting fun with our hands. So we did that last year. I think we're gonna run it back again this year. But you know, as you said, like families expand, you know, so and you know, so we're going to keep figuring out how to navigate that in engagement and in life. And as we keep growing and growing. And so that's it. How about yourself? Do you have any family traditions with your wife? And You know, man, we, um, so, I mean, you, you visit the grandparents every year and kind of do that whole thing. But my, my family, actually, we moved across the country a couple of years ago. So it's just like our core family. And we have some friends that we've, that we've made over the, the past couple of years that, that we have plans to get together. Yeah, new traditions are traditions. Too. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You get together and do the whole rest. Yeah. Love it's cool, man. I appreciate you asking. Thank you. Listen, I think our, our time is almost up. I, I want to throw one last thing at you. Fire away. Uh, next year, I'm a huge half baked fan. Oh. I remember, listen, man, I remember watching it in the theaters when it came out, my, my friend, my best friend at the time, his mom took us and she fell asleep. And the oh. whole time we were terrified fight she was gonna wake up and be yeah. like oh, even and yeah. she never did and we watched yeah. the whole movie i is there can you say anything about half baked too i mean can you tell us yeah anything? your friend's mom was half baked when she went to go watch it which <laughs> yeah, is why she, she might have um <laughs> no um without giving away any spoiler alerts because sure. you know we it's a real tight lip kind of thing 
But yeah. um, having the opportunity to play Thurgood Jenkins Jr. has truly been like one of the most creative, fulfilling experiences of my entire career. And I'm just hoping that knowing the cult film that it is and the cult classic that it is, I'm hoping this film translates in the way that it's supposed to. That's Heck all. Yeah. I, that's Absolutely. all I can say. That's okay. I Shout get it. I Michael Titus, who Thank directed you. it, Justin Hires, who wrote it, and I hope you guys enjoy. It. Absolutely, we're going to. But before that, we're going to enjoy the binge too. It's a wonderful yes, sir. Binge. Hulu December 9th. Friday. Thank you, Dexter. You're the coolest. Thank you. Appreciate, appreciate it. Man. it.